A chicken farm is a great way to get eggs, feathers and meat and Valheim, especially as you will need a lot of them in your explorations of Mistlands. In this tutorial I will be using the Elder's Flame as the base of our thriving chicken farm as that will never extinguish and simply makes hatching 100% efficient. You will notice I'm building this in creative mode just to make recording of this video less tedious and avoid constant interruptions on the restocking building materials. I do avoid however using fly mode as I like to share the scaffoldings I use for this build. Now depending on what style you want to build this farm in, you will need different workstations. For the design I am building, you will need a workbench, stone cutter and a black forge. And here are all the resources I used for this farm. And these are the resources you would need if you use the workstations. Now we want to begin by covering up the flame just to avoid any newly hatched chickens to burn to a crisp. If you take a look at the floor of the elder's altar you will notice the grid is the same size as a stone floor so you can use it to line everything perfectly up. So I will begin with building a stone wall right here on the outer border so when I transfer that over to the center the stone walls will be on the same level once I did the first layer. Against that stone we will now snap a 4x2 piece. That way it will be possible to snap a floor piece on the lower part so it levels nicely with the outer border. Against that floor piece, we snap now two more stone walls, of which the last one is the perfect foundation for our structure. Now, working from that foundation, we're gonna build a square around the flame, and we're gonna build this in two layers. On the four corners, we will now place four stone pillars. In between the pillars I would like to use a grate just to let the light of the flame come through. You can of course close this off completely in stone but then you also will lose the light of the flame. I will be using the bronze grill for that which is mist lens that means I also need the black forge as well. Now I don't really want the grill to hang on the end on the outside of the stone I want to have it in the center. So I will build a door first which will allow me to snap the grill in the middle of the stone. Once that is done we can simply remove the doors and what is remaining is the grill nicely centered in the pillars. The only thing remaining now is build the roof. So I'm going to build another layer of stone and on top of that we're going to build ourselves a dark wood roof. Now we're going to take the 45 degree angle corner piece of the dark wood roof and we're going to snap it on each corner of this centerpiece. The 45 degree angle is perfect. When the eggs fall down, they will not stay on the roof. They will roll down to the floor. And there we go. The chickens should now be safe from the flames. And it looks pretty cool as well, I have to say. Now, with that done, we can now start focusing on the outer wall. For the outer wall, we're just going to build on the outside here. And we're going to follow the grid, as you can see, on the floor. What we want to have is we want to have the pillars inside the build. They're going to be used later on also as a support for the roof. So I'm going to be using the large stones mainly to make this wall. You can use the small stones if you want to, but I want to save some resources. Now in total, we want this wall to be about 10 to 11 meters high above the floor. So I'm going to be building this and I will be back with you once this is done. All right, as you can see, I have built the wall completely up. If you can count this here, you can see you have one, two, three, four big ones, which is eight meters and the two stones on top. That's going to give 10 meters. And of course, inside we have the little drop there, which is going to give it about 10.5, 11 meters in total. So now we can go upstairs and start with the roof. Now I will close off this roof with stone completely, at least until the center point. We will be using some wood iron later on because we won't have all the support we need here. So let me just finish the roof here with the stone as far as I can until we need the wood iron and then we jump to that. Alright, with the first layer of stones done, we're now going to focus on the wood iron. And we're going to be placing wood iron in each corner. We're going to rotate it 45 degrees so it hits that pillar of the elder altar and that way it's going to be blue stated. That means we don't need to build any wood iron down, we can just connect it on that. And we're going to be building two of them in each corner for now. Once we did that, we're going to go to the roof again and we're going to add one more beam on each corner. Now we can just fill up the whole floor except for the center. Now, 
In the end, we should be left with a hole of 3x3 three three stone. This is where we're going to be building our chicken breeder. Now, we want to make sure that the chicken breeder is not hitting the sides of the stone, so we're going to build it a little bit offset. So what we're going to do, I'm going to snap a little half beam here on the corner, so we can start from this point. Now, on that half beam, we're going to snap a large floor, like this, and then we snap two more floors against it, like that. And now we can delete this short beam again. On the outside here, we can now snap three more floors just to close this up. Now, we will delete the centerpiece later, but now I'm going to keep it just to work on. Also, take note that we leave this gap open on the sides here, and this is just to make sure that the chickens always look in one direction. On the back of this floor here, we're going to build two half walls like this. And we're going to do the same on the other side. And now we're going to close off the sides as well here with two half walls. Again, on the other side, the same. Now in the center, we're going to take a half short wall here and here. And then snap two half walls on left and right so that we can divide this in four equal pieces. Okay, and now we can delete these here because they are no use for now. Right, now we can also delete the centerpiece right here. We don't need it anymore. Now, this is done. We can now start focusing on the roof first before we start putting the chickens in because there are a few raids that come in that will destroy your chickens. For example, the bats or the drakes. So we make sure that these are protected. Now I'm going to build a roof starting from 6 meters high. That means I'm going to build a beam of 4 meters and 2 meters. And then we're going to create a structure out of core wood that's going to be 6 meters above the ground here. Now the core wood is not going to snap perfectly where I want it. So I'm going to build another core piece behind it. If you saw my guide about how to snap pieces in place, this is what I do. I build a free placed part in the back and then I slide the part I want against it so it snaps in the position I want it to be. Alright, let me just finish off with the square and then we can continue with the roof. Now snapping the corner pieces might be a little bit challenging, so we're going to start with the 45 degree angled roofs. I'm going to use the dark wood again, just because I do like the look of it. And then once these pieces are placed in, we're going to snap in the corner pieces. And then we just finish off the roof with the 26 degree angled roof pieces. The only thing remaining now is closing off the walls. And what we want to do, we want to leave two doors on both the sides, so we can have access to the breeder and give food to our chickens. Now, I want to use the high doors, because if I open these up, there's not going to be a beam in the center, and they will not block me from throwing the food inside. I also want to build a little banister here on the side, just to make sure we don't fall down the hole and everything is safe. Alright, so next thing I'm going to do as well, I'm just going to put a wall here. I'm going to put a wall here. These are temporary. Uh, these I'm going to be using for uh, keeping the chickens in here because um, even if you throw the eggs in here, in this location and close it off, the chicks will jump out, uh, spawn out of the area. So it's just easier to throw your eggs like here and then afterwards when the hens are ready, you just push them in each slot. It's just easier, much easier. Now, of course, to get the eggs to hatch, we will have to place a fire as well, at least temporary. We also will put some roofs above it, so in case it rains, it doesn't get extinguished. Alright, now the only thing remaining is throwing the eggs into the pen here. Now we're going to have to split up these eggs, because we cannot just drop them in a stack. We need to split them up one by one, and then drop each egg separately, so they can hatch by the fire. We're going to be dropping four eggs on this side, and we're going to be dropping four eggs on the other side. Now, there's two ways where you can see when your eggs are warm enough. 
either you check if they are still sparkling, like this, or you can just check the egg itself and it will say too cold or warm. Once this is done, we can close the doors and we just wait for two endgame days until the eggs are hatched. As you can hear, I heard some chickens hatching here. Now the problem is if I'm going to open the door, they might try running out. So I'm just going to quickly just build a quick little uh, wall on the outside because these chicks are rebels. All right, let me just quickly check. All right, we have four chicks here and we have four chicks here. All right, so this is going to take now another two days, end game days before they grow into hens. So what I'm going to do in the meantime, let's do some work on the bottom here. Now, if you look in the corner here, you will notice there's no fire here. That means that if there would be a neck here, it will not hatch. But normally, when all the eggs fall down, they would fall down down here in the little in this little dip here. They shouldn't fall next to it. But the chickens will start running around, and then if you open up the door, they will become pretty annoying to get you know keep in. So what we're going to be doing? We're going to be building a second wall inside here. We're going to raise the floor a little bit on that side, and then also raise the door. That way we're going to be able to keep the chickens where they are in the center point and have less hassle when they try to escape. And we're going to do all that while the chickens are growing up to be hens. Now apart from raising the stone in the floor and the door, I also built a little banister around it so that the chickens cannot get in there but we still have access to it. Now we just need to go upstairs. Do some finishing touches, we need to remove the fire as our chickens have hatched. And we also need to start building a portal now, which is going to allow us to easy travel between the bottom and the second floor. Now begins the most patient of all, is getting the chickens in the pen, because these chickens can be quite stubborn. So when you're doing this, then make sure that you already have the piece selected on your hammer, the short wall. So once the chicken is in the spot you want it, you can build that wall in place. Now you will notice a lot of these chickens are going to try to get out again, because they already have a plan. They are pathfinding them somewhere, they're going to walk to a spot. Sometimes the easiest thing is just to let them go, let them go to the position they want to be. Once they stop walking, then push them in and they will no longer walk, at least for a while. It is always a little bit challenging to get them in there and to get the wall closed, because if they are too close, the wall will be blocked red. Sometimes the best thing you can do on the left and the right side is just replace the long wall with a short wall in the corner and push it in and close it off as quickly as possible because uh, the wall might block you from pushing the chicken deep enough. Alright, now it's time to feed our chickens so they can start breeding. You can feed your chickens quite a lot of different food. Most of the time it's seeds, so if you give them a carrot seed, turnip seed or whatever, I do like to use barley just because it's a single rotation. You just put the barley and you get barley instead. Otherwise, if you use carrot seeds or turnip seeds, you need to constantly grow turnips, then seeds, then turnips, then seeds. So I like to, I just like to use barley. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be throwing the barley right in front of them. Just front of each of the chicken, we need to throw a stack of barley. It might be a little bit difficult to know where you have to stand to throw the food, the food perfectly. Now, if you just put a beam here, a full beam and a half beam like this, then you should be far enough from here. So what I'm going to do here, we're going to be putting a short beam here and I'm going to snap a core wood on top of that. Now, that is going to allow us to just stand against this core wood and throw the barley towards the chickens. Now, you will notice in the example that I'm doing right here that the foot is not perfectly centered. It doesn't have to be perfectly centered, but it does have to fall in front of the chicken. And you see the chicken is not eating it at all. So you really need to aim that food in such a way it falls in front of the chicken so that it eats it. So let me just try to throw chicken food here, the barley here. Like that. And let's see if the chicken eats it. There you go. So the chickens there ate the barley without any problem. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to pick up the other barley again, because this one here is also not good enough. I should throw it a little bit more to the center of the wood panel. So let's uh, pick up this one again, and let's pick up the other one again, just to try it again. There we go, good. Now the next one, try this again. Oh, 
Seems like I still didn't throw it properly, so let's do this again. Finally, all right. So now all my four chickens should be happy. Good. All right. Now we do the other side and that should be, yeah, that should be it. All right. With now all the chickens fed, I'm going to pick up all the eggs. I'm going to pick up all the stuff that is laying around here. And we're going to take 20 minutes of these chickens breeding and see what the result is of this breeder. So give it 20 minutes. We're going to stand here for 20 minutes and I will see you again once the 20 minutes are over. All right, so 20 minutes later, we got quite some eggs here. Let me have a quick count here. That's 43 eggs in 20 minutes. And when we go and check the barley, you will notice that they only have been eating two or three barley for this amount of eggs. So this is a pretty efficient way to get eggs while not having to replenish your food that much. Now, the Elder Flame makes it really handy as you do not need to replenish it. It just keeps on burning, so your eggs will keep on hatching as well. And this is the advantage of this kind of farm. I hope this was an informative video. I hope this helped you out. If you did like this, then don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And I will see you again next time. This was Beeblebum. Goodbye for now.